Hey guys, welcome back to Ordinary E. I'm Ordinary Guy. I'm trying to build a PC for 99p. You know the crack by now. Um, this is part four and it's been a busy week. We have got a huge haul of stuff. Um, all for free. I believe most of it came from trash nothing. The first thing I'm going to show you what I got is a monitor, an Asus monitor, I don't know it's pretty big, 15 inch maybe, um, we've got some pill that we can do, Just left some pill on there for me. Oh, Ooh. and one more. Yes, all right, excellent. So we didn't just get one monitor though. Got another monitor. This one came with a cable. And it's a little bit bigger than this one. So two monitors for free off trash nothing. Thank you very much to the British. If you don't have anything useful anymore, just give it away. Why not? People like us can reuse it revamp it so there's a HP monitor probably the same size just bigger frame 15 inch HP another pill oh I even left the pills on for us guys this one's got a cable and I can even use that cable if the monitors don't work I can even use the cable for the power supply which didn't come with the cable two monitors but that's not all guys we managed to pick up another monitor. Again, for free. I'm just going to unwrap this. I'm getting a bit greedy out here now. Um, but I thought if I'm going to do a, a gaming PC, then I'm going to need three monitors, right? And they could have got more. So this one is an LG monitor, slightly smaller, um, yeah they don't match, that's probably going to annoy people, but we don't know if they work, I think this Asus monitor uh, said it was faulty, so we'll check that out, I don't know if they turn on, so this Asus monitor apparently has got a, a dodgy screen, but I don't see anything wrong with it at the moment until we turn it on we don't know so one monitor LG monitor no pill on this one for me and a HP monitor that's a big beast so that'll probably be a centerpiece if not it'd be the Asus I don't know maybe if they don't work if I can fix them I'll probably give them back out to the to the public for free Let's see what kind of hertz we're dealing with if we can see it. This is uh, the HP monitor, it's got power supply, it's a VGA output, a Wi Fi output, I don't know what that means. On the screen, 21 inch LCD color monitor. It doesn't tell me what hertz it runs at, but I can look it up on the internet, I guess. So that's the HP. The LG monitor, a Flatron, yeah, doesn't tell me much more about that. Again, it's a VGA or D sub output, no power cable in there. And then the ACS monitor, this is probably, that's probably a decent one for gaming. HDMI, this one has HDMI ports. HDMI 1, HDMI 2, a VGA output. I don't know what that symbol is, we'll figure that out. Headphones, 
and a DCIM. I don't know what that is either. I'm learning here, guys. You need to help me out. Leave your comments down below if any of these are good, what they are, what they do. Again, I don't know what hertz it runs at. But, so we've got one monitor, two monitors, three monitors. So, we have something that we could possibly display our PC on for once. Now, we've got the one cable for the HP. We did get a second cable. I believe this is for the Asus. That's a two pin plug, so we don't quite use those in the UK, but maybe we can bypass our safety one. Don't recommend that actually, so I won't mention it. That's not all, guys. We also managed to pick up. Keyboard. So we've got some peripherals now. It's a wired keyboard from Dell. Here's what it is. Came with a mouse. So that's handy. We also picked up a second keyboard, Logitech. Now all of these keyboards was the description was that they've got sticky keys and stuff. Maybe spilt something on it. So, a Logitech keyboard, that looks pretty damn new, came in the box and everything. Apparently something was spilled on this one too. What we'll, what we'll do is we'll open them up, take out the keys, clean it all up, soak it in soapy hot water, and put it all back together and hopefully that should fix the stickiness. I may clean the motherboards as well. That's not all. Another keyboard, ASAR keyboard. This one has a pill. Oh, everyone likes a good pill. Again, apparently sticky. It's a bit dusty actually, this one. But we'll take it apart and literally you just pull the keys off. We'll soak all those. We'll clean up the boards. Uh, we'll clean the insides. And we'll find that later. So we have keyboards, we have mouse, we have monitors. That's not all. So somebody advertised a bag full of computer parts, wires, cables, see what we got. Holy! Uh, that is a car charger maybe? Interesting. This is a, a brand new iPhone charger, that's one of the old iPhones right? iPhone 5 maybe? Interesting. Another kind of car charger. Another car charger. It's always handy. I think these are like audio inputs and outputs. Another car. This guy, I don't know if he likes a car charger. USB charger. They're still around these days, so we can use that. Ah, that's a funny connection. I do not know what that is. Another mouse. E Machines mouse is one of the old yellowy, gone yellow type mouse. Uh, some cable. Super. Another audio input output cable. Another USB yellow cable, not bad. Oh, some PC uh, cover slots. Might come in handy, no it won't. So, thank you. Some bags. Got an Ethernet cable. Huh. Well, that's good. A nice little Ethernet cable. It's all dirty and dusty and got cobwebs. What is this? This is a mouse. Oh. Interesting, look at that. It's a kinetic mouse. This USB 
slides in, disappears. Very interesting. Wireless mouse. Old. Well, that's an iPhone charger. Telephone, internet, telephone cable, another telephone cable, another telephone cable, and some, oh good, these are good, audio pins, and a pair of earpads, awesome, so that, it's not all guys, not all, we've got another bag here, now, when you're picking stuff up for free, you just don't know what you're going to get. Like for instance this. It's got a Scott connection on one end, it's got a TV cable on one end, a box. I guess it's some sort of TV. It's called Global Communications ADX Plus. No idea what that is, it's got a lovely knob on there. It's nice to flick about. Scott cable. I don't know what uses Scott anymore. Another Scott audio cable, two pin power plug, another audio cable, a telephone, I'm not sure if we're going back to the, to the 80s where we used to dial up internet, what are we doing here? A Plusnet Technicolor Wi-Fi set, I guess this is a wireless network Wi-Fi I guess that's a router. Interesting. Talk to another router with power and cable. Oh, very good. This is a neck gear. Excellent. So it's a modem router though. I don't know if we can use it as a separate router to our modem. Aerial cables. Pack of cards, because why not? Just in case the computer doesn't work, you can play solitaire manually. And the power cables for those. I forgot to mention, oh, now we've got another bag here. You see that there? We have power cable, and I've got the monitor connections. So I'll be able to hook up one monitor at least. I don't have any other connections like that, so I'd have to find some of those. Trash nothing. Superb sight. You do not trash your stuff. People can use it. We can use it. I can use it. I can show you guys, me using it. What we're going to do now is we're going to clean everything. Wipe it all down. Take the keyboards apart. Wipe all the monitors down. And I'm not going to bore you with that footage. So let me do that off camera. And I'll be back and show you the results. Alright guys, I thought I'd show you just what I'm doing with the first keyboard. So I've taken all the screws out, like 15 screws, and cleaned up. We're going to get a good wipe of our antiseptic cleaning wipes. Just notice now it's missing the feet, so we're not going to be able to lean this up. So give it a good clean. And let's see if we can take it apart. Yes. There she is. Now, with the keys, we're just going to hopefully pop them out. Or how do they come out? Yep, they just come out. I've taken a picture of the keyboard um, so I know where everything goes back. So now we just pop them out. Put them into soapy hot water, just warm so we don't melt the plastic. I need a, something to poke these better because my fingers are too big. That's where this trusty PC tool comes in handy. Thank you. 
fun putting all these back. So that's all the keys off. Give that a nice soak in your warm soapy water. With this, you can take off the take off the uh, I don't know this rubber membrane. We can soak that too, and the electrics there. That's your keyboard film. And that's how your keyboard functions, or this keyboard functions. Now, there is a big scratch mark there. That's probably not a good sign. There is some pen as well. I don't know if someone's had this open already. Interesting. But we'll take off this so we can clean it all up. The same screws. That's good. All, all the screws are the same. So you can't miss, mix up any screws, which is great. Do that, you should be able to just lift that up, lift that up, take off the board. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a big dent there and a scratch mark across. Yeah, it's actually split. So that's not going to be good for the keyboard. That probably doesn't work, which is a shame because that was a, it's a good keyboard. We'll clean it up anyway and see what we get. Yeah, it's a real shame. So it's definitely probably not going to work. Can you see that, guys? See the split there? Yeah, it's, it's not good. There's two layers of this as well. Definitely sticky, so we'll have to we'll clean it down. We won't pull it apart. So all we do is propyl alcohol, clean it up, get yourself a little rag, get that white. You never know, maybe it's meant to be there, I don't know. Get the second layer. Give that a good wipe. So you want isoprenol 99.9% alcohol. Give that a good clean. Flip it around and again on this side to remove any stickiness.
see in the areas that I don't just wipe that off. That's it. Now make sure it's all dry obviously before you put anything back together. And that's what I'm going to do for all three keyboards. I'm going to soak them in hot water, all the keys. I'm going to clean up uh, the casing and the film, the marble, this is the marbled film, film type. Make sure there's no, just have a quick close look, make sure there's no dirt. See like here, I can get that on camera. But if you see any dirt like that, then try and scrub that off. Not too hard, you don't want to ruin all the traces and put it back together after it's fully, fully dry. Um, we're obviously not going to be able to use these keyboards yet until we finish building the PC. But that's why I've lost some bits. But now we're going to try and reassemble it back together. Everything seems to be dried up. Let's start with the mouse. Um, you didn't see me take it apart. But um, it shouldn't be too complicated together. You get a, a left clicker. Slide in the back there. Clip it into place. So we just cleaned up the circuit board of that's a, that's an alcohol mixture there. Should have took a picture before I took it apart, right? But I didn't. So I just press down gently. Okay.
to see the silver screw. So we've got the teeth on this side. Um, which means we're going to want the teeth on that side, which is over here. So remember on this, we cleaned up, I think there was a spilled, there was, well, there was some spilled drink on here. Some of the keys were sticking. Um, I'm going to fix that. I'm going to connect this up. And then I wonder if was that under or over. Oh, it's exposed there. How many screws do you think I'm going to have left over? <laughs> Why does it when you take something apart you always have screws left over? Thank you. 
as if I just make them sound a bit proud. But anyway, we'll put the keys back in. I need to figure out where they will go. It's going to be great. Right, catch you in a bit. Black magic. And just like that, it's done. All right, guys. Let's put this back in. If you're wondering about those metal parts, they seem to snap into parts of the keys that are underneath. And that is it for the board. So let's put this back together. Hopefully this works. A bit worried about that cut we found inside. Alright, let me put this back together, see if I can find the screw in for that and show you putting that back together and then we'll wrap this up. Catch you in two seconds, you ready? All done. No sticky buttons. Perfect. Hopefully it works. Right. And we also found the piece that we were looking for. You probably can't see it, but it was a bit stuck to the, to the towel. So I believe this goes on the wheel. Can't be that hard to figure out, right? Does do not know. Right. Make that hold on. Yeah. Looks like it goes in there, in there, in there, in there. Like so. And then. a little let's see what it does makes you feel the little every turn okay now
just be aware guys if you're gonna start getting stuff for free you're gonna have to clean it it could be broken it's not always gonna be in the best nick but it's free and if we get a gaming out of it we need happy days but it's a long journey so I hope you like these videos so again subscribe like smack it hard Thanks, loud. yes so yeah subscribe and like smack the notification bell as well why not you never know we may learn stuff have to go on first. Even if it did go on first. Hold on there. Hold on there. It did go on first, of course. in. Oh, she clicks. Lovely. She wraps around here. Luckily I still have the, the bends in the wire to show me the way. This is the way. that oh I do not know what that is we have another component We need, we need something to help us with that. Um, where is? Okay. Guys, get yourself one of these toolkits. The link is in the description in the previous videos and on this video. And it comes with all the bits. Lost it. Where has it gone? God damn it. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Yep, that helps with the springiness. And shout out to my girlfriend for getting me this kit, by the way. If you want to get yourself one, it's in the link in the description below. Now, get the 
housing on. All clicky buttons. I'm sure I'm going to be doing some headshots with this. That's about it, very much. Now, what do we do with the screw? Last screw left. We have no screws left. That's from something else. guys everything's cleaned I've got to do the same to the other two keyboards I'm not going to show you that it's just going to be the same method take it apart soak it in hot soapy water um, for a good I did it for 20 minutes half an hour let it dry wipe down all the electronics with alcohol uh, propanol 99% alcohol and uh, you're a good one right let me show you finished items for today so, this is what we got we got an Asus monitor 24 inches I believe we got a Logitech keyboard, nice and cleaned up. We've got an optical mouse. We've got an old style mouse with an old connector, and the optical mouse has a USB. We've got a HP monitor, same size as the Asus, and we've got this small LG monitor. Hopefully, one of these works. Hopefully, one of these keyboards works. I've got to clean up the other two keyboards. Hopefully, one of these mouse works. Um, right, I'll see you in part five. Catch you later.